Don't hold back. No compromises. What's up everyone, Rankin here. This was something I've been meaning to show to the public for a while now. In the vertical shot video, I wanted to show a way to visualize the mechanics of the shot, which was difficult. Sure, in first person, you can adjust the field of view and position very easily, but it's a bit difficult when you need to have it be moving around uh, in a third person perspective. So just for that video, I created a script which allows you to physically visualize the movements of the camera. However, when I created the video, the script wasn't as uh, robust, and over time, it improved. This has been something that I always wanted to make, mainly because uh, even though I don't really consider myself a great animator, I do consider myself highly technical with the camera work. And it's really difficult to see how elaborate my camera work is if you can't see the camera in the behind the scenes footage. Sure, you can have like a different perspective of a stationary shot uh, from a different angle, and everything will be moving fine, but physically, uh, you cannot see the camera like moving around and like panning and stuff like that. Not to mention, there's no information visually to convey the field of view of the camera. I actually got help from Six, the creator of Moon Animator, as to how to get the position information of the camera and I managed to make this shot, um, which kind of shows how um, like the position of the camera kind of flicks around, and just like teleports everywhere. So that was a start. Now the problem here is that I need to make it so it's able to express the field of view. Also make it so I can adjust the camera size. Now, as far as the camera size go, I got another favor from Six and he allowed me to animate the head scale size of the camera. So if you were wondering what exactly you can animate the head scale uh, value of the camera, that's the reason why I just asked him to include it and he obliged. Uh, in practice, head scale value, that's uh, the, that property has to do with something with VR. But in, the, in our situation, it's just to uh, be able to scale around this external camera, just for convenience and visuals. All right, now that's the history of what this code is. I just want to get into um, the functionality here. Now, initially, uh, this one did not have any UI. Instead, it used command lines, which is kind of hard, difficult for a lot of people to use. It, it is easy for me, but um, <laughs> obviously everyone wants everything in uh, perfect UI with buttons. In fact, I managed to mod uh, Moon Animator such that under the camera tab, you have the toggle external camera button. And if you just click on that, you can actually activate the add-on. There's no hotkeys because I don't imagine this is something that people want to toggle on and off frequently. And ultimately, I don't see this being used in the animation directly and more for behind the scenes work in progress videos where you can show off how you did something in a certain shot. You know those DVD extras where they show the scene of a 3D movie? You can see like the camera with this, this like very simplistic geometry. It's kind of like that. And that's the purpose of this uh, plugin. Now, while the uses is very simple and there's not a lot of features, I might as well go through it. So first of all, when you enable and toggle the camera, this pyramid shape will show up. One end, the pointy end would be like the position and then the face side would represent the perspective and the angle of the pyramid represents the field of view because the field of view is the vertical angle of the shot. Now consequently, the base of the pyramid can change depending on the viewport size of the explorer. So if I were to change the window, it will actually, the camera will adapt so as you can see, uh, I, I can like make this more narrow and narrow and that'll make the pyramid more narrow. And you can see that the base of the pyramid replicates the viewport size of the Explorer. Uh, if you go in first person camera and then you just zoom out and you just notice that the portion of the camera's base and then the edge of the screen is completely similar. They perfectly fit together. So you could get a lot of visual intuition just by looking at this pyramid shape. Now, of course, I want to mention the other feature, which is, and here's a surprise, um, you can actually customize what this pyramid looks like. Actually, it doesn't need to be a pyramid. You can actually use either a base part or a model. This script checks in the server storage and see if there's an object called external camera. And if it finds one, it'll actually replace the default one with this new one. And you can, you can change the color around, you can change the uh, transparency around, you can do whatever you want with it. Now, what makes it a little bit more fun is that you can actually place this pyramid with a model. And as you can see here, I have this like a camera model. It'll actually move around 
and point to what it's looking at. Now, of course, because it's a model and you cannot un ununiformly scale like the height and the width uh, like a face part, uh, it, it, you can't change the size of like your model at all. All you can do is like it, um, keep track of the positioning of the camera. But now it is integrated into Moon, and hopefully uh, you guys uh, you know have fun with this and do like behind the scenes shots and hopefully like uh, you could show it alright so I can like get some insight as to like how you do any camera techniques in your animations. So if you're interested, you can check out the description for the link of the plugin. I'm Brinko, and we invite you to RSVP.